Hey guys, about a month ago I released a series from an Angular 2 course that I did and it was on building this NG Spotify application which searches for music using the Spotify API. Well, that project was built using Angular 2 Release Candidate 4 and Release Candidate 6 has now been released and there have been a few changes that may affect this application if you follow it along and you're using the quick start. So I wanted to do a video to kind of show you how to update the app to RC6. All right, unfortunately, when a technology is still in the, in the release candidate stage, things change really rapidly and severely. If you look at the code from RC1, it's, it's probably un, virtually unrecognizable from the RC6 code. Uh, and I suspect I'll be doing this a couple more times as well. Um, and it, it really sucks because you know you do these courses and then people try to, to follow along a couple months later and things have changed and then they think it's your fault and you get dislikes so um, you know it's tough to keep all of these updated especially where we have a 12 project course uh, those are 12 projects that I need to constantly watch and update um, so that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna take the original RC4 application and then just apply you know kind of recreate it and apply the changes we need to make and uh, hopefully it'll also teach you a little bit um, about what RC6 includes and, and what's changed and so on alright so basically one of the biggest changes is the addition of app.module or ng module which is a file we need to create and that's where we want to import all of our components into as opposed to just importing them all into the main app component like we were doing and this you also be able to load um, modules like the HTTP module the router things like that within app.module alright so what we're gonna do is over here you can see I have this ng Spotify RC4 folder that's the original application that's what I have here now and if we go and we try to search let's say Aerosmith so click on a link shows us the albums click on an album we can preview tracks and so on all right so this other folder here ng spotify rc6 is where we're going to build the new application so we're going to use the quick start just like we did with the original so we're just going to search for angular quick start first link here and we just want to grab this git clone command and copy that and then I'm going to open up a command line command prompt as administrator and we'll go to that folder which I have in project slash dev slash ng spotify underscore rc6 okay and actually you know what we're going to delete that folder because that's where I actually want to put it and it'll create this command will actually create the folder for us. So I'm going to just delete that and we'll paste that in and I'm going to call this ng Spotify underscore RC six. All right, so let's go over to the editor and let's take a look. Okay, so a lot of this is the same as RC4. Okay, most of it is actually. If we look at uh, package.json and we look at the versions here, you'll see that all of the Angular stuff is now RC6. All right, and if we open the app folder, you can see app.component.ts, which is not a new file. Same thing with main.ts, but then we have this app.module.ts. And if we look at that, you can see that that's bringing in ng module. And ng module is where we can put all of the modules we're going to use, all of the declarations or components. You can see that the actual app.component is being in imported in this file and then included in declarations. So any other component we create, we need to include here as opposed to in the app.component file. All right, now these are getting red underlines because we didn't actually run npm install yet, so let's go ahead and do that. So we want to cd into that folder. And let's run npm install. All 
All right, and while that's running, I'm going to just open up the RC4 folder. Okay, so this is the original application. And what we're going to do is go into the app folder and you can see we have components and we have a services folder. So we want to create those. So in the RC6, we're going to create a folder in the app folder called components. And let's also create a folder called services. And then what I'm going to do is also open it up in my file manager. So projects dev RC6. And I'm going to bring over into components. Now from here, we don't want the JS, we don't want the compiled files. So I'm going to just recreate these folders. So we have about album um, artist navbar and search. Okay, now like I said, most of the code in these components doesn't need to be changed. So we're going to bring over the TS and the HTML for each of these. That's album. Okay, now we need artist. Navbar and search. Okay, so we have those component files. Now let's bring over the service. So just the TS file. All right. Now let's also uh, take a look at the main component in the RC4. So that's app.component.ts. I'm going to open that in a different window in a different editor. All right, so notice that we're importing all of these components in this file, and that's not something we want to do in RC6. We do want to import them, but not into the app component. We want to bring it into the app module.ts. So I'm going to copy all of these. And let's bring them into uh, app.module.ts. So right here, we don't want the router directives. That's actually something we don't need to do anymore. And then what we need to do is just add them to the declarations. Okay, so we have navbar component and search component. Um, about all right and let's see that needs a comma right there and that's how we include our components so let's save that and then we're gonna go to our app component TS and we do want to bring in the service into here and we also want to uh, let's see for providers we want the service in here as well okay not the HTTP providers we actually don't need those alright so that should be good so we'll save that app component TS file and actually let's look at the template we're gonna change this to template URL Change this to app.component.html. And we're also going to add module ID set to module.id. Okay, and that's going to make it so that we can use um, relative paths. So we'll save that, and then we need to create our app component HTML file. And we can actually just grab that, the old version. So let's see, where is it? Let's see, four, let's bring over. We'll go ahead and open it up. 
copy that. Okay, so we just have our navbar component, and then we have the router outlet. Okay, and then we'll set up the router in a minute. So we'll save that. Close it. Okay, let's see what else. In the RC4 app, we also have um, the definitions for album. We have album TS and artist TS. We want to bring those over. So we'll copy that. And we're going to bring that over here, paste that in. And now we're going to implement the router. So in the app folder, we're going to create a file called app.routing.ts. And the documentation, if we look at the documentation, it has some pretty good information. If we go to uh, tutorial and then routing. And let's see right here app.routing.ts so we're going to grab this paste that in and you just want to include the components that you want to include in the router so I'm actually going to just paste those in here so we have the search component the about the artist and the album all right and then we need to define our routes down here so we'll leave this blank for the home page and the home page we want the search component to render Okay, then we're going to have, copy that, we'll have the about, which is going to be obviously the about component. Then we'll have our artist. Now artist is going to have an ID parameter, so we're going to say slash colon ID. Change this to artist component. And then we also have album. So this will be album slash colon ID. We'll change this to album. Okay, and then there's one more thing we need. That's the export code, which is right here. Okay, so we're exporting a constant routing called routing, which is set module with providers to router dot mod or router module dot for root. And then we're passing in that app routes, which comes from right here. Okay, so let's save that. And then to use this, we need to include it in the app.module file. So we're going to go up here. So you can see that this is kind of like um, an initialization for all the, the components and modules. So we're going to say import routing. And that's going to be from dot slash app dot routing, which is the file we just created. And then we need to include that down here in our imports. Okay, we'll save that. Now I just want to look at our component files. Let's see about TS. That's good. Okay, now in album dot component TS, you'll see we have these router directives. We, we no longer need this. So we can get rid of those. Okay, so we'll save that. Okay, in artist.ts, we also have those we can get rid of. Save that. Navbar. And in search, we can also get rid of those. All right, so the router should actually be all set. So now I want to see what happens if we go ahead and run this. So if we say npm start, okay, and we're going to open up a console and let's take a look at the error here. So it's saying can't bind to ng model since it is in a known property. Now the reason we're getting this is because we need to include the forms module inside of the app.module file. So we're going to go over there and let's go up top here and say import forms module and that's going to be from angular slash forms. 
Okay, so this is how we include modules. So we're going to add this down here to import. Now this this also uses the HTTP module. So we're going to also include that. So angular slash HTTP and then we'll include that down here as well. Just like that. Okay, we'll save that. Now down here we're getting an error because we didn't include the base href in our HTML file. So let's do that. We're going to go down into index HTML and go right here. Say base href. So this is just for the default path for your router, which we're going to set to slash. Now we also want to include our bootstrap file which I believe we're using a customized boot swatch version. So let's go to our RC4 app and open up index HTML. Bring that over. Okay, so I'm going to grab this link right here. And I'll put that right here. And that should be it. So we'll close that out save now this style.css we're going to go down here to style.css and just get rid of everything in here and save it all right and now if we look over at our application it's running there's no errors let's go ahead and test it out okay oh we do have some css that we need to add though so let's do that Okay, we'll go back to our C4 code and open up style CSS and just grab everything in there, paste it in here and save. Okay, and then we're going to go back to localhost 3000. Let's try that again. All right, so Aerosmith, we have all the albums, okay, album tracks, we can preview. I don't have my sound on, but you can see it's working. View in Spotify, and that'll take us to the Spotify page. All right, so the application is now completely uh, compatible and working with Release Candidate 6. Okay, let's make sure the about works, which it does. So the routing's working. So I will include a link to the GitHub repository for the new code. Uh, if you got confused at all, just leave a comment and I'll see if I can help out or if somebody else can help out. And I will be in the process of updating some of my other Angular 2 videos, as well as the Eduonix course, which I would suggest that you check out. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.